Star Rail just decided to leak every single one of their new characters for 3.0, and we're going to go over all of them in excruciating detail. Uh, I want to encourage you guys to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn the bell on for all notifications. Pardon my voice. Um, I am, in fact, in a lot of pain right now. Uh, I lost my voice the other day due to me playing kickball that I won. OTK Game Day winner is what it is. But I just want to say thank you for sticking with me through this. My voice will be back to uh, back to normal soon. Hopefully, I'll be better tomorrow. Appreciate you guys. And uh, let's talk about all this and the quality of life changes that they're introducing in 2.7. This looks very, very, very good. Now, I wish the developer radio would actually talk more about the home designing system because that shit looks very, very, very good. Um, that is actually what I'm looking forward to most in 2.7. However, however, zero cyclers will rejoice with this update patch because a lot of very good meta and, uh, I guess, quality of life for making your account stronger changes have been implemented in 2.7. So, this says, in version 3.0, Aside from customizing a Relic's main stat, you can also use the Wishful Resin item to customize its subsidiary stats. This allows the body, the feet, the sphere, and the link rope to be adjustable based on self-modeling resins consumed, and subsidiary stats set by Wishful Resins consumed. Now, I was really hoping that you could change all four substats. However, having just two substats is still a very good start for a lot less predatory and time-consuming gameplay. The other thing that I'm wondering is, how often can we get these materials in order to do a self-modulating resin with the proper affixes and substats? This is fucking nuts, okay? Means you can double crit or, wait, double crit for DPS and speed for supports. Yes, this is nuts, right? Our supports across the board are going to become infinitely much better. And the reason why that is, is because they essentially only need one substat, which is the speed. Same thing with the slower DPSs. All they need is crit rate and crit damage. This is a very good change, okay? Now, it goes a little bit further because there was another change to make this change even more, even more unfucking believable okay? So I want to show you guys this shit right now, okay? After the version 3.0 update, Trailblazers can obtain Wishful Resins through the following means at the start of each version update. Nameless Honor. A Wishful Resin can be obtained for free via Nameless Gift after completing the weekly or periodic missions. Now, this being said, this sounds to me like we're going to get one of these per week, which could be crazy, and one of the four substats every month, okay? So I'm going to recommend everybody to most likely just use this for your supports. This seems like the better option, is what I am assuming. Okay. Additionally, purchasing Nameless Glory and reaching a certain level will also let you obtain an additional Wishful Resin. You can consume 800 Relic Remains to four one Wishful Resin. Two can be synthesized at most. This is very good. A one-to-one -one exchange rate with self-modeling resins, up to three can be exchanged every month. This is very, very, very good. Battle Pass is now pay to win. You are absolutely fucking right. Oh my God, pay to win in the gacha game. Can we believe it? My jaw is on the fucking floor, guys. My jaw is on the fucking floor. In the new version, Trailblazers can consume one variable die to reroll five-star relics. This one is also insane. This means all of your horrifically rolled uh, artifacts can now actually be useful. Now, this presents a pro and a con. Okay, because when an artifact rolls terribly, you are then free to go ahead and use it to increase uh, another relic. However, now that every single artifact has a chance to be re-rolled and actually good, this will make it a little bit harder on getting artifact experience to pump into your auto artifacts. So this is a pro and a con. Okay, a lot of people already salvage these and a rage salvage feels very good, but now we can cope and then hope. Okay, but still, this is a great change. Now you're perfect, perfect, Perfect substat rolls would be great, and maybe you just feed the ones where you had to really live on a prayer, live on a prayer. Okay, I haven't rolled a relic in like six months. Well, I bet pure fiction is probably still getting dominated by you. This game really isn't that hard. Okay, in the new version, trailblazers can consume one variable die to reroll five star relics at level fifteen. After rerolling, the number of enhancement attempts that can be made for existing subsidiary stats will be redistributed. The number of enhancements before and after rerolling will not change. Trailblazers can choose based on the result of the reroll to either use the original stats or the new stats offered. But reroll will not change the subsidiary stats that already exist. As such, if the relic already has three subsidiary stats before getting enhanced, then the new stat obtained after three levels of enhancement will the only one be rerolled. Trailblazers can obtain variable dice through the following means. Great. You can consume three self-modeling resins to synthesize one variable die. That's actually a lot easier to get than I thought. Nameless Honor. After purchasing Nameless Glory, you can obtain one of this by reaching a certain level through completed missions. The Battle Pass is now fucking ridiculous. Okay? The Battle Pass is now pay to win as fuck. I am not going to lie, bro. I am not going to fucking lie. After version 3.0 arrives, 
enhanced relics can also be in salvage directly. That is to say, the enhanced relics can be more than just relic EXP materials, okay? Enhanced relics of two, three, four-star rarities can be salvaged as the last gold fragment and credits. Enhanced relics of five-star rarity can be salvaged as lost gold fragments and credits and converted into a certain amount of relic remains. The number of lost gold fragments gained after salvaging will be equal to that of which is used as relic EXP materials during leveling. Five-star relics that have already been enhanced level 15 will be converted into 400 relics that have remained when salvaged. These are some very good quality of life changes. Now, let's go into the reason why. Y'all are probably all here. So Honkai Star Rail introduced a fuck ton of new characters. And I mean a fuck ton. Okay, number one is Aglia. All right, this character is fucking beautiful. Now, I saw a bunch of retards, aggressive retards of that, like Box 2, say that this character looks mid, and for that, I'm never going to forgive him. This character is gorgeous. We need more blonde characters in this game. Her vibe really suits the new mood of the new planet. I love this shit. And uh, yeah, they look unfucking believable There also Tribby, which I'm sure Regslet is going to love this character. They're very cute. Hopefully they're a four star. I truly don't feel like pulling for this. However, it does have elf ears, which does give them a little bonus. It looks like a child version of Sweetily. You are absolutely correct. This this looks like baby Sweetily. You are 100% right. Uh, we also have a Noxa, which is essentially white hair blade. Bro looks edgy as fuck. The symbol on his hand really reminds me of Full Metal Alchemist. And I'm going to be real, they cooked with the dudes of this expansion. They look really, really fucking good. Now, I'm hoping this character plays just as fun as Blade. Blade is probably my number one character that I regret the most not pulling because he is so fun and he is so cool. So if this character could be more edgy than the Edgelord himself, that would make me regret not pulling him a hell of a lot easier. Now, this is Hyacinth, and I believe this is a character a lot of people are looking forward to. Is this the Elysia character, guys, or no? No, it's not. Okay, so here's the problem. All these fucking anime characters, all these anime characters look the fucking same to me. And I'll say it. This character looks very cute. However, there are other females that are released as patch, which I believe completely dwarf them. We have My Day, a fist fighting jack dude with the power of a fucking kitty cat behind him. This character is a must pull for me. This character is the new Giga Chad of Honkai Star Rail, the lighter of Zenless Zone Zero. This dude looks so fucking hot. It is going to be so nice to bring masculinity back into Honkai Star Rail because currently every single one of my teams are just females. And this is a dude that looks cool enough that is also sexually suggestive enough to the gay dudes and the women to where I'm actually excited. May your masturbation cycles for all of your homosexual dicks and begging pussies be wonderful and fruitful for my day. Finally, y'all get to rub one out. This dude is jacked as fuck. He looks cool as shit, and I love this dude. Cypher. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I fucking love cat girls. I have a huge weakness for cat girls, and uh, this is my number one pull for the New Balance patch. Now, I'm gonna hope to God they make this character not five years old, and I'm hoping this character is a is a girl okay this character does things to me i'm not gonna lie and their full art is even crazier cypher fucking 10 out of 10 peak design as well as castorus she's pretty much butt fuck naked in here this is how she looks when i come over she looks so good it is fucking crazy let's talk about the splash arts right here so aglia looks like a very sunday-esque arena it looks very very good as well as the new Giga Chad with the lion stand looks fucking amazing. I want to zoom in on these. These look fucking amazing. The new zone is shaping up to be one of the best zones. And oh my god, dude, I didn't even notice this right now. This chick having the power of what appears to be a necrotic dragon looks insane. The only thing that's really confusing me here is that this character looks just like Raiden Shogun. And that is, that is what's really confusing me. And I don't know why that is. I am hoping that this chick summons this necrotic dragon. Because if this is a summon, this is a must pull. This looks fucking crazy. Imbibitor Hone. Okay, good one. Then we have this cat girl practically begging for it on uh, all four of uh, begging for it, aka treats and head pads, throwing her ass up in the fing air, wearing the thigh high, squeezing her legs, looking fing boy as shit. Yeah, we'll see when they make this character five years old and then I'm called a pedophile. 
that's okay. I've been called every fucking name in the fucking book and I'm still here because these people are fucking retarded. And then we have Sweetly as a baby. These characters look fucking amazing. All of 3.0 looks fucking amazing. Boys, I think Gotcha Games might actually be back. With Wuthering Waves 2.0 coming out, four new characters, they hid them. That's right. There is more. We have this chick who looks psycho as shit. Any girl that does this is out of their fucking mind. This dude looks like a half humanoid, half dragon. And this, I got no idea what these are, uh, but I'm pretty sure this is Camellia from Wuthering Waves. A lot of people are saying things like Saber, and a lot of people are saying things like Kevin. I have no fucking idea, but these characters look amazing. Keep in mind for 3.0, the fate collab should also be occurring around that time. This is going to be unbelievable. I'm here for it. I can't wait for it. And Cypher, I need you so bad. It's crazy. This character is so cute. Holy shit. Boys, thank you all for watching. I'm stoked. Kevin, Alicia, Welcome back. I'll be real. I have no idea who these characters are, but I'm looking forward to watching 27 hours of Honkai Impact Third Lore. That way I can understand what Honkai Star Rail is. Very exciting. And this gets me very excited for the future of Honkai Star Rail. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Thank you for being with me always. And I will see y'all very, very soon.